Well, hello and welcome back. Today we're going to be creating this vintage apron cookie. We'll be using the same consistency throughout the cookie, which is soft consistency icing. Begin piping the straps in with moderate pressure. Moving down to the bow, you're going to want to use a little bit more pressure in this area. For the top of the apron, pipe little beads in each section. Use the scribe tool as necessary. As you move down towards the bottom portion where the dress is poking through the, the apron, you're going to want to use moderate pressure and pipe the entire area from left to right. Following the flow of the dress, pipe a line from left to right. Move up to the top of the dress underneath the beads. You're going to want the icing to be higher than the beads on this portion of the dress. Use the scribe tool to coax the icing into the little crevices that the bag couldn't get into and to remove any takeoff marks. Moving down to the apron underneath the sash, begin piping on the left side of the apron, being mindful that the icing is higher than the dress underneath the apron. Following the form of the apron, pipe a border from left to right. Now pipe the sash of the apron. Following the sash's form, pipe a line on the bottom going around to the top. Oh, my line broke. I'm just going to connect and continue. Then allow 
the cookie to dry for six to eight hours before moving on to the next step. With pink food paste, begin piping the sash of the dress. Use the same color for the bow. With cream color paste, paint the bottom portion of the dress. Load your brush with the pink color we've been using and begin painting the bottom portion of the dress starting underneath the apron. You're going to want to leave a little bit of that cream color showing at the bottom of the dress. Still using the same pink color, paint the apron portion of the dress, but just following the portions that I'm painting. We don't want to turn the entire apron the pink color. The decorative beads also need to be painted with this color. Now paint the sash using that same pink color. Load a small round brush with blue food paste and paint little circles about one fourth of an inch in from the bottom portion or the side portion of the apron. Still using that same blue color, go back and paint little lines around the circle. Make sure that the curved lines overlap each of the previous lines. We've now created a scribe rose and you're going to paint the rose all the way around the apron. Load your brush with green food paste and paint teardrops that represent the leaves. Thank you for watching me and sharing your time. If you would like to see the entire tutorial of this apron cookie in full detail, please visit my online cake decorating school.